The following podcast is a part of the Spin Studio Network. This is Happy Hour with Lucy and Nikki. Yeah. Oh, boys. Like, so where the fuck have you guys been? Yeah. Get on stage right now. Get on stage right now. Give you a little smack. You gave him a little smack on the bottom. That was yeah. a bit weird. I don't know. <laughs> was that, that, was that <laughs> out? Nah, as long as it's athletic. Like, whoosh, <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's, like, that's, like, that's <laughs> all right. Gave him a little athletic slap. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, babes. Welcome to Happy Hour with Lucy and Nikki, the real life shit that you only discuss over a drink or a quarantini. <laughs> <laughs> but before we start, a little disclaimer. So we're here for a good time and not a long time. So if you're easily offended or a bore, then scram. Scram. Because we are having so much fun today. <laughs> scram, queen. We've got Tim and Christian from Chumba in here today to... Announce something exciting that we've all organised together, but also just to tell us about the life of the DJ life. Yeah. So if you guys don't know who Chumba Music is, they are you would have seen cousins. them on our stories. They they play that song la la. Yeah. So they just recently supported what's so not. So we actually went to their um, Brisbane show recently, but their cousins born very closely together in the uh, faraway land of Tasmania. Yeah, inbred, I believe, is the <laughs> word I use. No. Um, but, um, but they basically just tell us hilarious tales from I'm like kind up. of nervous to re-listen because there's just – we're all just laughing and there's so much talking over to each yeah. other, but it's One fun. thing about the boys, they've got like an infectious personality, so we hope you can enjoy infectious. the ride. Oh, they're here stoked right now. <laughs> like fucking I am the best right now. No, but it's hilarious and they're <laughs> they the legends. Vibe. If you guys can get around and support them, you should because they're not only, you know, great musicians or whatever the DJ technically is DJ called, tings. but they're heaps of fun and they're the biggest vibe. So bef- without further ado, let's bring them in. Bring them in. You always say adieu. It's a do. A do. All right. Bring them in. Welcome, Tim and Christian. Welcome, boys. Oi, 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 oi. How are you? What's going on? <laughs> so before they got here, we were like, all right, we have to be really mindful not to talk over each other. And now we're all like, okay. no, you joking. go. I feel like I'm literally like, I've been laughing so much that I can't even talk. Yeah. So the podcast was meant fun. to start like 40 minutes ago. And yeah. It was ADD. Oh, we're doing a podcast. <laughs> oh, is that what this is? <laughs> have, have you guys actually got ADD? Uh, no, I've got A A Triple H D Z. It's a it's a new it's a new <laughs> one. Um, it's actually it hasn't been found yet, but I know I've got it. So. I've got that one too. Nikki's <laughs> just the only I've got person. Off a cool as a cucumber. You're yeah. Cheers. Lady. You're lucky. Cheers. Cheers. So anyway, boys, we've got you in today. We always ask our guests. The first thing we ask is, what is your wildest stories? It can be together or it can be separate. We'll go, we'll, go, we'll go one together. So we've sort of, yeah, I'm a bit of an avid listener to the podcast. He's a punter. I, I say, True I'm, I'm a punter by trade. <laughs> by trade. Different super fun though. <laughs> and uh, we, yeah, so we, we sort of thought about this on the way in as, as a lot of people do. And a lot of, a lot of the, the stories that we have that are crazy aren't really together, but there is one that, that strikes our memory. I'll let you go. Well, you, yeah, take away. We, we've lived in different states for like strikes the last. Strikes We've lived in different states for what? Like 15 years. So for about 14 years but and three no, months. <laughs> <laughs> no one's counting. Three days. Nah, so we, we went to uh, – so I, I had a show. So I did another project called Lewd as well. Um, what does Lewd mean, Christian? It is, if anyone's ever watched Wolf of Wall Street. Is that short for yes. Queen Lewd? Yep. 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 A bit cheeky, a little bit naughty. <laughs> 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 nah. Yeah, no, nah, I was – it it, it's, it's so fucking hard to come up with a name. Like dead set. Like a DJ name. Oh, bro. Like I, every, that is probably the hardest thing that we've had to do with like Chumba was come do. up with a name that wasn't either like offensive or just something that we like we couldn't just, that wouldn't roll off the tongue or you could have in the text that looked Could good. you just have your name? What, what DJ Tim and Christian? <laughs> no, I don't know. Famous <laughs> DJ Tim and Christian. MC Christian and Tim. <laughs> no, not really. Ink. Ink. Nah, Mr. So, Worldwide. <laughs> so, yeah, no, because every good name you come up with is like, it's already taken. Like, everything is taken. So, yeah, I think I was with my mate Liam in uh, in Perth watching the movie, the best movie of all time, by the way. And it, he was just Street. like, just call yourself Lude. Quaaludes, Lude. And I'm like, oh, that yeah. could catch. Because I wanted like it a name. It is na- catchy. Well, I wanted a name that... You know, like, you know, there's flume and it's like one syllable. Just and it's like, like one like word. Cut rolls Two off letters always look good. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, that'll stick. <laughs> Cause, no, because I want, I didn't want to be like, you know, like a massive sentence is my name. So I'm like, Lude. Yeah. yeah, that'll work. Christian, the best DJ in the world. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was, <laughs> a, really that was the first one, but that was taken. So I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, so, yeah, that's the name. So I had a show in uh, Amsterdam uh, for, what is it called? ADE, it stands for Amsterdam Dance. 
electronic entertainment. I always try and ADE. I'm like, I never know what it means. I'm always like Amsterdam yeah. dance, something yeah. Yeah. like something. Yeah. So I had a show there uh, for Elysia and Mad Label. Shout out to a kid legend. Legend. Um, <laughs> it's a great, makes legend, a great legend, mochaccino. Legend, mochaccino, <laughs> A great Sunday morning latte. Yeah, so uh, he, uh, yeah, so I had a show over there, and I'm like, "Fuck, Tim, you'll come with me," because we we just thought of uh, starting the Chumba thing then, like around what a month before or whatever. Yeah, it was about a month. Yeah, it was like yeah. So I always went to shows with Lude as well. Obviously, we're cousins, born. You know, in the same same day, day same year. Same Hang age. on, we didn't actually ask that yet. Oh, I know. Sorry, we're so, getting really into it. It's sort of part of the story. So you go. Right. You are cousins. So maybe you should just yeah, say firstly cousins. how you know each other. So we actually met in hospital uh, back in 1992. <laughs> yeah. August when we were born. Zero years old. Yeah. So our parents, our parents, <laughs> believe it or not, in Tassie, it's uh, it's it's quite a bit of a trend. They still don't have internet down. Nah, joking. Shout out to my Tassie <laughs> legends. Love you guys. You know, no kids after the age of like 17. Though, yeah. So. so our parents were both around 17 when they had us. and we're, What? They we're, actually were. Yeah. yeah. And we're literally my like. Mom, my mom's like my sister now. We're like, literally. What? Like, Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Both weird. of your parents were 17 when so they had us. So we're literally yeah. like four hours That's how they do it. Tassie style. And so how, how are you related? Through your mum's or through your... Our dad's a brother. Our dad's oh, your a dad? Brother, yeah. Yeah. Wait, your dad's hot Christian. He, yeah. He's a fucking... I, is he's your dad hot too? My dad used to be hot, but then he found the sash and then the sash <laughs> took oh, hold of him and then the sash, the sash took over his life. Can relate to that, So the sash took over his life and now he looks like a, a little <laughs> sash gremlin. So <laughs> <laughs> shout out, dad. Sorry, you do though. You're shocking. <laughs> Michael's a boulder. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, getting into it. So we, uh, yeah, so born in the same hospital, same day. Um, yeah, always had that bond, but I, I moved up to Queensland when I was about He say, got lucky, he moved to 12. Colleges. Yeah, I, like honestly, it sounds really bad, but it's sort of like your meal ticket. Like I, I sort mm. of got out of Tassie, you know, not much really going on and – and I was, yeah, and then went from there. We'll get into that story a bit later on. But yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're talking about it. So, <laughs> so, yeah, so cousins, um, yeah, and then what happened? We went to Amsterdam. Yeah. So, yeah, how to, long ago was this? This is like, like last year. Uh, so, we st- uh, would have been, it was like what? No, October or November, just the year before last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, that's 2018. We, 2018. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we went. So it was like a, it was literally like a spare of the moment. Christian had a show, and it was his first, pretty much your first sort of great I had, overseas. I hadn't show. done a Europe show before. A no, Europe no, show, I'd done so. a lot of other touring around like India and all that, like those other yeah. countries. But I'd never played a show in Europe. Before. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what you're doing? <laughs> India yeah. or Europe? Yeah. 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 I've actually yeah. played a show in Mumbai. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a bit, it's a bit Mumbai. Can yeah, I not. ask, are there many lewd fans in India? <laughs> Some bloke at my first ever show in India, and it was, where was it? New Delhi. That place, you've never been to a polluted place as that. But, like, best food I've ever had in my life. But a bloke Shout comes to a show, and, and me and another bloke, Fabian Mazur, are a show, and this guy comes up, and he gives me a bouquet of flowers, and he gives Fabian a bouquet no. of flowers. Full. Wait, didn't he have a, wait. Put, didn't it this, on the, put it on your, like, what do you call it, on your decks? True, put them on the decks like that. Didn't this same guy, wait, didn't this same <laughs> Guy have like a random like poster made up of me and you when we were little kids. No, like no, that was photos. a different guy. That was a different. That was it. That was in. That was in <laughs> Mumbai. In India, so you do in fact have fans in India. No, yeah. yeah well, the, well, the, the difference is, is weird. the difference is like in Australia they like they you know they'll come and watch your show. And they'll, yeah. You know they'll you know they might follow you in social media, but. In India, because they don't get many acts there, when, like, the acts do come from, like, Western countries or, like, America or it. Australia or whatever, they, like, they like prepare for it. They, they like, research They're, it. like, fucking yeah. ready. So, this, so in Mumbai, you get brought in, Tim. So in ready Mumbai, to go. this bloke <laughs> brought me, like, five gifts, like, little toys, like, and he, in the last gift, he ripped out this big, like, what is it, A3? That's a big piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> of all pictures of me when I'm, like, a kid in that. No, not a kid, like, you know, like, 16, and there was one of me and Timmy on it. Yeah. I'm like, this is before Tumba was even a thing. That like, is I had, like, wild. A like, like, holy <laughs> shit. I'm like, no. Yeah, but that I was is like, like proper fan. Yeah, yeah, I respect cool. it. I'm like, that's mad. I sent it to you. You're like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. how do you even find He's like, that's on my Facebook, not even yours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I found it like a random feed. I'm like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Then you're like, then Tumba was born. Yeah. yeah. So going back to our, our <laughs> crazy yeah, so crazy story. Story. <laughs> as we do. Yeah. So sort of <laughs> come up. Obviously, Lou was rocking. He'd done a, like his first Europe show. We're really excited. I was, you know, working away on the tools. Shout out all the stonemasons out there. There's not many left, but <laughs> love you guys. Love you guys. Love you, old Pete. You're a legend. <laughs> Jason <laughs> taught me everything. But uh, yeah, so we yeah went to Amsterdam. He's like, Fuck, come to Amsterdam with me, bro. I'm like, well, I'm not doing anything else. I may as well come with you. He had a show over there, and it was like, so ADE is a is a is a dance festival in Amsterdam that is literally like at the end of the year, every single big act of the whole entire world goes to Amsterdam for one last party. 
So there's like that's it's epic. like no, but it's, it's like epic, it's, it's, man. It's, so there's a sh- there's like fifty shows <laughs> on every night, like every club you can imagine in Amsterdam. But it's, big it's, like, it's also like a networking thing as as well. Yeah, so there's like a bunch of Europeans in their leather jackets and that. In the, like, <laughs> Specifically, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we so we got we got there and we had about what three days to to spare before we had had his show. The only reason why we were there for the show got there and we got put up in like quite a, a nice accommodation. Shout out Frank. Shout out Frank. So our our manager pretty much had accommodation booked, but he didn't, didn't end up going. So it's like you can have our room, but it was like it was one, one double bed, one double bed, three of us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, that's <laughs> right. we're like, manager, like, but we, we wouldn't have it any other way. Like cousins, like, yeah, so. yeah. We wouldn't have it any other way. Like a freak out if we're not touching. I didn't want to be in a different room. Yeah. <laughs> They're so um, close. <laughs> so yeah, so we had three days skills. So we just went crazy. Like he's never been to Europe. I've been there a few times because I'm a bit of a bloody you lived wanderlust there traveler. Hashtag travel bug. And so yeah, so we all we all went there, and and there was like three of us there, and we just we just went ham for three days. We Literally stay in a hotel room the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> Did you actually? That's when we first walked out. Like, ah. like, no, I say we went. Oh, I, this sounds really weird. I don't know if anyone that is listening would understand, but I know if you're in a foreign country with, with in a great hotel with people that you love, you listening to music on the rinse, like having fun, is best I mates. think like one of the be- best mates. I think oh, it's quite fun in, in like a foreign country. In this world, <laughs> maybe that's just Did me. Did you want to go <laughs> out and look at some sights or anything? Eventually, eventually, yeah. Outside. So day two, we went outside. <laughs> anyway, we went to all these parties. Uh, so you know, had a bit of fun, had a lot of alcohol. Um, yeah. Night, night of the uh, day of the show, uh, Christian uh, went to sleep. Had had quite a deep sleep. Him, him and our manager Gabe, shout out Gabe. We ha- they had a big sleep, and and he's like, all right, we're gonna have a sleep. What's the time now? It's about you know eleven in the morning. We've got a show at midnight. All right, we're gonna sleep for like ten hours. Get up for the show. Be real ready. Be real prepped, and then we'll go from there. I wake up. I wake up to you no, slapping you me in the face. He's like, and Christian, I, oh you dickhead. Oh, wake up. Is there a scary no. movie when like a guy gets on top of the girl and just like trying to wake her up? <laughs> just Still just laughing her. Her. And he wouldn't wake up. I'm like Christian, bro. Like we've You're got like twenty. Shake we've got twenty minutes until you're set, man. Oh my like, god. No, 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 no. It was five minutes five until minutes. I was meant to be on. The only reason we're in Amsterdam, we got five minutes to our set. We're like, this is the only reason we're here. Get the USBs ready, get everything ready. Have a so drink, we're have running, a drink. So Timmy's uh, like, "Go on, boys! I got the GPS going." So we're just running behind Timmy, like, like part. We had oh, so you're days. walking to the show as no, no, well? No, right now we're oh running. Like, my Johnny God. Like a slow jogging. The headlo- he's a headline of the the whole. There's like two and a half thousand people there. It's like a headline <laughs> of this massive. Have you? Did you have event. a shitload of missed calls? Yeah, like, no, no, the guys are like, where the fuck are you? Don't dog me like this. We're like, oh, how dare you? Like, my whole, I can't even pay by this child support this week for you, boys. Like, just went, like, he's like, you got to bloody get on. We're like, all right, like, we get there. We took a wrong turn because every street, because every street yeah. is like 50,000 letters long. You're yeah. like, like Hoover, Schleven, Hoover, and you're like, oh my God. It's <laughs> 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 through like the canals and all that. And yeah. we're the team, he's like, come on, boys, I'll lead the way. And you like had your phone up in the air, like, we're all, like, fo- we're running, like, <laughs> just dying. Eh? We got running, we're like, oh, come on, mate, we're playing. The security's like, no, no, no more Australian. Wouldn't let us in. Like oh. the, the show started, we can hear people like bring on loot. And then a kid hears our voice. He's like, oh, here they fucking are. Come yeah. on, boys. Like he's like, where the fuck have you guys been? Yeah. Get on stage right now. Get on stage right now. Give you a little smack. He gave him a little smack on the bottom. That was yeah. a bit weird. I don't know. <laughs> <how> <laughs> was that, like, was that <laughs> that? Nah, as long as it's athletic. Like, <laughs> sh- yeah, athletic, like, 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 like that's all right. Gave him a little athletic slap. We figure. I finally get on stage. So I got USB sorted for him. No, you didn't. Nah, you wish. Nah, nah, nah. So I jump on right. And I'm just like totally sober, just like woken up. We like we hadn't slept for like a couple of days there. I fucking get prior to that, like, but know. then you'd slept all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm, it yeah. was like you know when you don't sleep for days and you sleep heaps and you, you your body needs like twelve hours. Like, yeah. So I get, I no, jump no. on the deck, start <laughs> fucking you know putting the, you know choosing a few tunes. I do my first mix and I'm like fuck man, I'm like so sober for this. And I see Tim. Look, I, look, I, look, you know, I do a few drink. more mix. I do a few more mixes. Blah blah. It's like ten minutes into the set. I'm like yeah, all right, it's going all right now. I need a drink now. I'm so sober. I'm like where's the alcohol? There's no alcohol here. <laughs> And I fucking look at Timmy and Gay. They're in the back corner of the club. Middle things up. Ah, yeah, fuck yeah. They're already scold like three quarters of a litre <laughs> bottle of Grey Goose. And I'm like, that's that was my only alcohol for the show. Like one bottle of Grey Goose. And then it's like, fuck yeah. Timmy's ripped his shirt off. Fucking swinging his shirt around. <laughs> yeah. Fuck look yeah. at me. Everyone look at me. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, come here, bro. Bring me some alcohol. He brings me up some fucking alcohol. I'm like, oh, finally, finally. Like I can get a little bit tipsy to play. And then Timmy's on stage. Like he's firing by now. Like have, has anyone ever had like, if anyone's ever had like, Half a bottle of vodka in what ten minutes? Like, yeah. I was oh, there. Yeah. It, it gets you going. Absolutely firing. It gets you. It gets you going. Pretty I was well. white girl. 
So then I'm like, yeah, shout out to my cousin Timmy. And Timmy, like, you know, loves the spotlight. Now. Like, no one else I've ever met in my life. <laughs> he, no, like, he, he rips off his shirt again. Like, he'd put it on, fucking rips off his shirt. Oi, fucking, let's go, Amsterdam. Like, gets on the mic, oh gets the mic, jumps over the duck, rips the mic off me. I'm like, fuck off, Tim. I'm trying to, trying to bloody do me mixes, bro. And then he fucking, he's like, let's fucking do a crowd surf. Let's fucking crowd surf. Oh, you know, and I'm like, yeah, come on. Let's I'm go. like, please catch me. And please. I'm like, let's go, Amsterdam. Let's go, Amsterdam. We're fucking, Timmy's ready. Let's go. Let's go big like first stage over the night and then he fucking and then he um <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> yeah so he fuck, so then I'm like he gets ready bro gets a big run up like takes a few steps back and has anyone ever seen uh School of Rock? Yeah like oh, the first no. scene of School of Rock when he jumps in the crowd and <laughs> he, he catches he it. jumps he, no he runs out you. boots jumps smashes some girl on the shoulder with his, his belly girl just collapses <laughs> I feel like she's dead she, like, she, at this over, point she was he's banging on his back I'm just like oh, oh my god are you <laughs> and, and then it was like silence in the crowd like I was well, like, you know those you know those music a little bit like I was like you know that weird like awkward like oh no he's just started here <laughs> like this chick's and everyone like, looks at him and Timmy just like because he's so pissed he's like oh this will be funny I'll pretend I'm dead <laughs> like Timmy's like lying on the ground like just like boom death's body like caved on the ground and then everyone's like and then he look, opens his eye and everyone's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that chick I think someone swept to the side but anyway it was fucking epic <laughs> never heard of that chick again <laughs> sorry Grace <laughs> Sorry, that's I'm story. like crying, guys. Did you say you knocked her out with your belly? No, I'm not like, I, no, just just dislocated her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> She's got another one anyway. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> that's why God gave you two shoulders, all right, Grace. Just deal with it. I deal with it. Poor Grace, honestly, <laughs> she just copped it. Yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. moly, I'm yeah, literally that was like our in story. tears. That was a, little that's bit a real, that experience. was a wild story, boys. Holy. Oh. Yeah. Jeez Louise. So we kind of touched on earlier how you know each other, cousins. Born on the same day. Same, 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 same hospital, same <laughs> Mums are the same I age. Like Eva, are the only people we've ever met that are like closer kid, oh, than me and Nikki Literally. in terms of like. Yeah. We haven't, we haven't finished each other's bloody sticks. Words. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, nah, we are. No, nah, we are. It's just, I don't know. I know this sounds a bit like cliche as well. With the Tazzy thing growing up as well. When, You're in oh, red. It's a different, nah, it's yeah. a different thing. You're now. related. Yeah. We yeah. taught each other a lot of things. But no, <laughs> like, just, no just growing up as Tim well. When, like, our families haven't, haven't, had, <laughs> like, haven't had the best opportunity. Like, getting a bit deep. But our families haven't <laughs> had the best opportunities like, yeah, yeah. when we were growing up as well. So I think that when we sort of reconnected, say, two, three years ago, after still obviously came in contact and that, but reconnected, it was like, fuck, we actually have a, like a mad opportunity to mm. like, to, to run with this. And like, like actually, like our parents, our messages every day going, oh, like, oh, my, oh, my, my, love it. my dad literally Post, sees a video, right? Sees a video that I send him. He'll take a photo of the video, oh. of the video on another phone. Like, you know, like Inception. You need shit. to like, teach take, him how to he screenshot. He doesn't realise, yeah. And then it'll be a photo of like his thumb over the video. <laughs> and like the video, and he's like, "There's my, there's my son playing in bloody Coffs Harbour." I'm like, "Dad, just it wasn't so even Coffs so Harbour." Like, <laughs> just makes it up to sound there's good. My son How's playing in Coffs Harbour. Like, Wait, to sound good, like Coffs the whole time. He commented on one of my photos the other day, so I did Good Life. So it was like, it was a real big crowd. I think it was like fifteen thousand kids or whatever. And Michael shares it. That's his dad. Shares it and goes, fucking Christian killing it in Gold Coast. I'm like, I wasn't even in Gold Coast. <laughs> and then he goes, look, you can see me in the front left corner. <laughs> you think I was there it? in the front left corner? Wasn't that an under 18 special? Yeah. I'm like, you didn't even know that. I'm like, oh, He's like, I was I'm doing... like that sounds pretty bad. <laughs> now, didn't he say, oh, I can't believe there was 30,000 people yeah, there? Yeah, 30,000 so people. It was like 10. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, a bit wrong. Yeah. Uh, so they're super proud of you. Super proud, but like, just also, I like, don't know how to, like, you know, that. Uh, our parents were sort of musicians back in the day. Well, your dad's well, my dad's an amazing like, my dad's musician. My dad's like full time musician. And back then, you don't, you didn't really get like an opportunity. It was so much harder to get mm. your brand out there and sort of do that sort of stuff. So for us, doing that to an extent, so we are doing that of what they could have done or, or, or would have done as well. They, you know, they get around it and 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 you know get around the boys, which is sick. So Good they were musicians. Do so you guys play instruments as well? Yeah. So my so my dad was my dad used to teach uh, guitar at the Conservatory of Music in Tassie. So he's like a freak yeah, dad. Like wow. he's like, so he's like hot and guitarist. Yeah, what a like, weapon! He's got everything. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So when I grew up, I sure. wanted. I wish I played guitar because that would have helped so much. But he made me play the drums so I could play drums with him. Oh. So we, I played drums in like I literally like I was a fool. Like I had to go to church every weekend and stuff. So I used to play in like the church yeah. band and like. So you had a were few hardcore a bands. Christian was a Christian. Christian. His name no, was literally. No, I'm not. But my atheist nan chose the name. 
Okay, the Uncle Paul jokes are weird. <laughs> yeah, He's just playing on the whole inbred thing, but no one does <laughs> <is> inbred. <laughs> we love Tassie. But yeah, no, so ta- yeah, Tassie's just one of those places that, like, I know a lot of people will be from like small rural towns, and it's as it's, it's beautiful it is and pretty as If you're older, just, there's just nothing going on. We're, we're from, from, yeah, we're from the tiniest towns. Yeah, are, yeah so you, you go back to Tassie. Yeah, yeah. Like we're, we're both from North Queensland. Nikki's from Mount Isa, which is like in the yeah, no it's like closer to the Northern Territory yeah, yeah, than the yeah, coast. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and I'm from Mission Beach, which is like two hours south of Cairns. Well, that's yeah, what, yeah. yeah. Okay. So Tassie's like the same thing. Like, Because he, he left Tassie when I was about 10, when we were about 10 years old. Yeah. And I was so jealous of him because he got to go to Gold Coast. And like our nan would take me up to Gold Coast to visit him every now and then. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. this is the best oh spot in the world. Yeah, that's it. Oh, my God. So and how long ago did you move here? Uh, I moved to Gold Coast like one, a year ago. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah. No, so I lived in Bali before here. So I did I did, I did, did oh. a couple of years in Bali. And then before then I lived in Perth. And then I lived in Tassie when I was like. Why did you move to Perth? Honestly, <laughs> Every single person. No, when you live in Tassie, anything's you, anything is better. No, so Perth. I've never Perth been to is Perth. Like, Perth was like moving to Las Vegas. Like it was like it was the same <laughs> shit. Like when you live in Tassie, like I lived in I lived in Kingston, Tassie, and that's like there's just nothing to do there. There's I've like never two, even heard of like, Kingston. Is that how you learned like how to DJ? Because you were just like sitting inside yeah, yeah, all the time. Ex- no, so how I learned to make music and stuff was when I um. So no, it was actually when I moved to Perth, and then I um. We had no internet at the house or whatever, but I had FL Studio, which is a program I produce on. And I was like, I have like no a, internet. That is fucking right. Yeah, like it was. It was pretty. I realized after about six months of Perth, I'm like, oh, like it's not as fun as like I thought it would be. Yeah. But when I first moved there, I got like. I have a real addictive personality with stuff. Yeah. So real time ADHD. Luckily, yeah. Luckily, luckily, I got it. Like, I started producing, like making tunes and that, and I just got full hooked on that. So I st- did that for like a couple of years, and then my lewd thing started coming up. You know, I started putting out tunes and stuff, and eventually people started liking them and stuff. So you know, you know, a couple of years after that, then I started doing like touring with Lude, and so this is how Chumba started. So I was on, uh, I was doing a dark room tour like a couple of years. I think it was like the end of the, oh yeah, end of two thousand eighteen. I was doing a, yeah. uh, I was doing a dark room tour. So that's with, his own ticketed, your own ticketed sort of show. Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. I was doing that with Lude, and um, halfway through because that's more that that's more the Lude stuff's more, it was more bass music and stuff. Was, is that like, like trap? trap? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'm, so it's I'm, heavy, I'm getting heavy. Yeah, it's heavier, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like which I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm just, not gonna lie. I way preferred Chumba over Lude. No, 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 no. And that's only I, just because that's no, more our vibe. That's what, that's what I mean. And that, like, you can listen to you can listen to it. it just, look, I, I look at it this way, Sonia. I look at it this way as in music goes for when can you listen to it at a certain time of day. Mm. You can listen to Tech House on a Monday morning going to work. You can listen yes. to it on a Friday night going for a run or something. That's what I started making. But there is nothing better. Than a fuck that a sorry, than night, a fucking like sh- than music. a trap night. Yeah, at a when club, you're actually out in the club, the, the fans or the people that are dancing. <laughs> like, that, yeah, literally like no, trap. No, it's made, it's music trap is for up. like to be fucked up and listen to. Like it's not like. But to be honest, everyone's different. But like you know, I look at it for the way of you know trap is that is a certain genre of music. For so I, yeah, so I was on so I was on tour with Lude and I'm like fuck like I just want to do some house stuff. Like I just want to do a bit of house music. Mm. And um and I was like who but I wanted to do, do it in a duo kind of thing. And like, you couldn't like go away from your lewd brand too much. Yeah, well no, yeah. that's it's hard. You know, that's still my main that's still yeah. my main yeah. job. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. And like I and my that's what I mean. Like my newer my newer stuff that I'm making is getting out of that now. It's more like I don't know. I don't know. More melodic. It's more melodic. Yeah, you know, it's easy to listen to. Is that to, how you describe so it? So melodic is is more, you know, like you know, hit the feels a bit more than just. Bah, bah, it's not. Bah, yeah, it's you not. Know, it's it's not I don't. Yeah, I don't make trap anymore. We I call don't. music like that summer. Summer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd say summer. I yeah. Yeah. Vibes. yeah. But so so I was on tour and then I was and I was just like fuck. I just want to hell do house because. Um, you know, I'd been to a few house events. I'm like, this is just so much. It's a different vibe mm. at a house event as opposed to like a heavy event. And then I hit up Timmy. Timmy rung me at footy training. I was like, I was sitting in the car after the fifth week of not making the first team, and I was sitting there, <laughs> tear coming out of me left eye. Actually, might have been the right eye. And he and he <laughs> rang me. He's like, Oi, bro, you need well, let's do like let's let's just do like a duo. And I'm like. What do you mean, duo? Is that French? What's that mean? He's like, yeah, that yeah. French? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, let's do a duo. Like me and you, it'll be fucking fun. I was like, da da da, and like I, I was like, grain of salt. I, t- like, I threw him, as, in, as I I threw him in the first six months. Like, what? What can? When someone says like, as I've always, you know, I've always been with him and been around it and stuff. But oh, let's do a duo and do this. It's like no one's ever going to get around that. No one's ever going to do this. Da 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 da. And then all yeah. of a sudden, within like two months, obviously with the Lou thing, 
100%, but we had shows before we even put out music and it was just like... That's yeah, you epic. kind of piggybacked so off the shit. Yeah, which, yeah. which look, I, like, I, yeah. like, I resent my, myself in a way. And, and, and no, I know but I forced you into it. Like, yeah. he, you no, hadn't, I wanted you to. Hadn't, like, like, you... You hadn't really even used a laptop before, and I and I like. And I, <laughs> well, this was my this was all. my next question. Is it true that you didn't know how to DJ when you started? Hundred percent. Yeah. So you but, didn't know how to. Do, you were just like in, 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 in my boy. defense, I've spent the last twelve months. Like, Practicing, like, no, no, he's literally a great going DJ from, now. He's a great like, DJ it's now. Like, it's like literally going from you guys, for example, playing footy. You've never played footy or whatever, and then grafting for twelve months. And someone to try. Did you just yeah. say it's like you guys playing footy? Like, no, no, we, no, no. well, you might be great at footy. I don't know, but I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just <laughs> saying, <laughs> like, when, I, for for myself, I have, a, a, I'm proud enough to go. I don't want to be that person who goes to play shows in front of people and do nothing. Like, you know would I mean? you DJ alone now without Christian? Easily. No, you can DJ. I, I DJ yeah. most oh, of that. That's so cool. I do most of that. And do you genuinely love it? Uh, it's, oh, it's the best time. Well, in the how world. can you not love it? Like, yeah. Yeah. if you got ADD, it and looks you're, so much fun. It's got, fun, man. <laughs> if you've got ADD, <laughs> no, like, and, it's, and like good times, just, how could you not love no, it? Just, just the <laughs> energy, just the energy that when you're out there, and and mm. and like, I don't know, I don't know if you can describe it, but going from you know being in a trade your whole life to playing certain music and knowing that people are going to get around the music and people like, like you know, people are there like for the tunes, like for the, the tunes, and people like, are like literally like hugging, like people are meeting, yeah. couples are meeting for the first Hooking time in the club. You know, you're. So literally, you're on stage. You're this three, two, story. one, stage diving. No one, like, I'm, no I'm, one's catching you. No one's catching. No, but it's it. Yeah, there's nothing better. I, Especially I, I do when love you it. can mix it up from like the nine till five, or like whatever yeah. you find is oh, like 100%. mundane. Yeah. It's like gonna be so exciting. Hundred percent. Oh, I would love to be a DJ. Yeah, it's it sick. would be it's so honestly, fun. It's honestly the best thing in my life that yeah. I've ever done. But like, there's a, there it. is also a massive difference between being, and I will say this 100%, being a DJ and then being a DJ who can pull a crowd. And not, I'm not saying, I'm just saying in general, they can pull a crowd and get people going and have that energy for yeah, the whole hour. Well, you got to, yeah. Get, you have because, to be like entertaining. Yeah, because you have to be entertaining. You also have to play music that that crowd will like at the time because you might play a show in Sydney that people love that, that sort of music. Then you go to Adelaide the next week and they hate that sort of music. What kind of music so do they like realize, in Adelaide? Do tell. No, no, shout out to Adelaide. Like every show's been amazing, but no, but but is it the fat controller? Yeah, yeah, that's a sick name that, for a yeah. club. Cool name. No, but no, but just certain things, certain certain places, like certain different different types of music. Some people could be more yeah, into tech house. Yeah, some people tell. could be more into heavy music. You know, so you just have to gauge that crowd. And I think the best DJs in the world are people that can mix to and you know and play certain songs that people like at You're the time. Yeah. Do you yeah. think you could be a DJ and play Roses on repeat for an hour and people would love it? Have you not seen our sets? <laughs> <laughs> Such a tune. Um, it such I a remember. Tune. You, it's you almost got, as good as Lala. You me that song. Well, I you know, that, that night, we partied that? with you guys that night and Jerome showed us that shot. Was it song Jerome? Yeah. That night and I, I was like, was holy like, fuck. And I don't want to brag, but I think I might have made Put that it on song the map. Every way time bigger that song, than... I do think of you guys. I'm I feel like we've also Thank had you. a bit of responsibility for Lala as well. Oh. Yeah, we've been pushing Lala hard. That's yeah, the boys' true. song as well. That's here, ladies. It's just easy to listen to. Like, it's... We, it's we, summer. Yeah, the best. It's summer. Yeah. I feel like it's more like rinky. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it? it's a little bit. Nah, yeah. it's, a little, oh, it's a mix. It's a mix. It's, <laughs> it's a mix. Like, <laughs> like summer is more like. Yeah, summer's a little bit more lighter. Oh, yeah. Summer's different. Like yeah. summer's more no, like. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. I'm trying to think of that. Summer's that's like. Lala's like a tricky one to hear when you're Odessa Odessa in the Odessa is more oh, summer vibes. Oh, yeah, that's summer. true. That's yeah, true. Whereas yeah. I feel like um, Lala's more like. It's a little bit of both. just want to like dance. Yeah. Like. But no, yeah. So yeah, when when we done the Chumba thing as well, it was we literally had no expectations off us as well because we'd done the Lou thing and Chumba was started off not as a joke, but as just a bit of fun. Yep. So when we made the first few tracks, I made like the, whole, the first EP. I made the EP on a Makita speaker, like a tradie speaker. So yeah, like literally a tradie speaker. So I, we, hadn't, I hadn't moved to Gold Coast then, and I like I'd come down every week, and I'd be like, all right, let, let, like on the literally a tradie speaker. Where yeah. were you on, living if not speaker. on the Gold Coast? I was just still in Bali. Like I was, I was oh, like between the two. Yeah. You yeah. made it ninety percent in the Goldie. No, 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 no. I made the whole thing in the Goldie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we lived in the Moroccan in Surface. So we li- we moved in together for about six months of deba- debauchery. Is it debauchery? Yes, debauchery. debauchery. So we, yeah, debauchery. we lived on the Gold Coast for like. Uh, so it was my mum's apartment. We moved in together, and it was just him, him and I, smoking vape, fucking making tunes. <laughs> I was going. <laughs> 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 oh my! Nah, we're going nothing wrong. Don't you say this? It was a sick time. Smoking like, vape, going on dates. Sick time. We yeah, we had a good time. We sort of made that music, and you know we. We literally started it off as well with sending tracks out to, to labels as well. Like, what do you recommend this? What do you recommend this? The, and the prob- oh. <laughs> not, get, not getting any not getting anything back. The problem with like, that is is like when you when you start like when you start a project or whatever and no one knows who you are, 
no labels actually want to listen to you at all. Like that's nah. a gr- like it, you could have like we, this literally happened with Lala. We mm. sent it to a bunch of labels, and because we weren't big enough as Chumba yet. They, they just were like, say they no. Were like, nah, nah, nah. And, but that's just no. crazy though, because yeah. that's how yeah. you but, but they like got, discover people. But, yeah. I, but I get it as well but because the, but, there's but the no you got no CV. If you go to a job interview, yeah, and you've got nothing same. on your on your obviously with the lewd thing. But if you've got sort of nothing on your job, they're not going to look at. It, they're going to go, well, what do you what do you got to back it up? But have you ever heard of a mother agent, like someone that discovers a model? Yeah, true. Yeah, 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 and no, then 100%. they get like a percentage of their. Jobs yeah, yeah, for the yeah, rest true. of their well, life because they discovered them. Yeah. Yeah. We, I reckon we I reckon we sent Lala to probably like five labels or whatever, like good like good like uh, labels for that genre of music. Yeah, and uh, four of them were like, nah, it just doesn't suit our vibe right now. And then Lala and then spin, is the biggest vibe. And yeah. then and then Spin and Records, gonna, which luckily is like the biggest one out of all. Yeah, we all got really labels. not lucky, but we yeah we got really like fortunate. that. Spin and Records is uh that's a label <laughs> that uh, that's another name for. Lucky. Is that the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> French for. <laughs> It's French for lucky. No, I think we're really fortunate. Ah, oh, that's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, vocabulary is not right. So Spinner so spin Records, they put out, remember Martin Garrick's Animals? Like, oh, that was that tune. Yeah. Animals. Like, so they put out that tune. So I was like, <laughs> fucking oath. Like out of all the ones that said yes, which is one. <laughs> they said yes. Yeah, so like, <laughs> but we we done that, yeah. But then, but then, yeah. But then, like you know, we pl- started playing it. Like every time we played it before we even put it out, people were just going off to it because everyone knows knows that sample from uh, uh, Sam the Smith Sam Smith so- song. Um, yeah, what, what song is it from? Uh, what's so, I know, so Naughty Boy. That. La, uh, how's it go? Hush, don't, don't, don't yeah. speak yeah. when you spit your venom. Wow, well, I had no venom. idea. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's got like a million up, plays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I found that sample was out of an actual sample pack, which is, producers will know what I mean by that. Yeah. Yeah, so I had to spend $30 to clear that sample. So I was like, yeah, wow. fuck, this could be true. No, because no, everyone, no. No, everyone kind of knows that's that sample. Like but the no, la, but la, 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 originally la. it wasn't it wasn't from that it wasn't from that Sam Simmons track. It was from an old vocal from like an Indian, an Indian Bollywood sort of vibe no, yeah, song. The sample pack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vibe. yeah. So So yeah. back to India again. You love India. Yeah. Basically. I've where would been. be if you guys oh. went on tour as Chumba, like where would be your ideal Ibiza. 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 Oh, we our our end goal in the world is is generally to have like residency. Have enough money yes. to, to survive, but residency in Ibiza for every second summer or every yeah, summer. I don't sick. think I could That's do every dream. summer because uh, we wouldn't survive. We're our <laughs> own worst enemies. But <laughs> yeah, every, yeah, you'd die. True. Yeah, we'd be fucked. <laughs> so every every second summer I think in Ibiza and just, you know, doing the Cole Cox. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows Cole Cox, but yeah, you know, icon. is he the big fat dude? Uh, yeah, he's a little bit overweight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Some greatest, watched, greatest DJ, the ever, best DJ in the world. Greatest DJ ever. Yeah. I definitely watched, watched the boiler, boiler room. room at Ollie's house. I think you boys put it on. To be honest, Probably, so yeah, yeah. That's yeah right. um, sounds about right. So you've just finished touring with What's So Not as well. Is that yeah. like your first? Big gig. Uh, we watched that. Uh, so no, so it wasn't our first. It wasn't our first big no, gig, like but it was our first. It was our first gig where it was support for a, for Before, a, like a, a massive artist, a big yeah. international artist. Yeah. And did you no, enjoy we that your like, show on Friday? Yeah, yeah. we oh, were there. Yeah, we went to the show. Come? I was <laughs> having a good time. Yeah, yeah you were. No, I reckon. Time. I, I reckon Brizzy. Time. The Brizzy show was the best on the tour. It was like Brizzy and Auckland yeah. were my favourites by far. It, really? It, yeah. it, you have to like. It, it's there's such a political thing with with shows of. Uh, most of the shows that we've played, and because I'm new to it as well, I notice it a lot more than him, but a lot of the shows that we've played, when we go there will be a headline. So people come there to see you play. So it's like mm. you know that even if it's a small crowd, they, they want to see you. Yeah. But when you're a support artist for a bass act, yeah, which is a, a lot heavier line. than us, people like where, where it's pretty much from going tech house, which is like say pop to rock. It's like yeah, two different right. genres of music. So we play our set and then everyone's, you know, like we dance like shibby up Like it's a bit more chilled. <laughs> a bit more. <laughs> Yeah. And, then, and then it goes to, yeah, and then it goes to, and then it goes to like, um, it goes from there to, and then you go all sort of into bass. So a lot of people weren't there to yeah. see us. So some crowds were big, some crowds weren't as big, but yeah. it, either way it was sick. And no, how no, did that come about? Crowds, but you could, you could just like, because we were you playing. You tell they were there for What's we were, or Not. Yeah, yeah, we were playing 100%. before, what, we, our set was before What's or Not every set. Yeah. So some, you know, some crowds you can see that the whole crowd there, they're there for What's or Not, where other crowds like. Which is fair. Where yeah. other crowds, they yeah, choose to go. Know, people watching. are wearing chumba shirts in the crowd and shit. And everyone's going crazy. So it's a bit mum. Do you sell <laughs> and man. Uh, we only literally did. Look, we we literally have done one post. We'll design we, we've some done merch. One for what if we design some done merch yeah. and make it sick, right. and then Locker we can, we just get all the money. Well, we're we're not the best at marketing uh, when it comes to merch. No, only because we've never done it before. So we've done one post about merch. Yeah, for us, we just no. We'd, we'd be able to make you a really cool shirt like that people want to wear. I reckon we should make masks. Yeah, no, no, yeah. You reckon? Or you well, know, speaking we of, why don't we talk about what we're doing next Friday? <laughs> 
because I hate to say it, but I don't know why I hate to say it, but it's fucking blowing up on the internet, yeah. internet right now. Beautiful. So we went and watched these boys last Friday night. We've met them a couple of times before this, got along like a fucking house on fire. And so after crazy. seeing them and, like, with everything that's going on with coronavirus at the moment, you know, like, so many people oh, it's crazy. in the music industry as well are, like, everyone's suffering. No one can fucking no, go. No, we, we, we were talking months. to the we boys the other night. We were like, jobs. let's just yeah. do something fun, like, so, from our office. And then the other day I was, like, thinking into Nikki because I just had marketing mind on. And I was like, yeah, Nikki, we need to, like, capitalise on corona. Like, let's, like, do something. Not capitalise yeah. on corona. Not but like, how, yeah. like, no, I know how you mean. Let's, like, make, make it fun. Make well, it. no, because, like, we're, like, from marketing backgrounds and I was like, yes, it's time to, like, think outside the box. What can we do that's going to be so sick that no one's done that just makes us look like we're the six cunts? Yeah. And then. Yeah. Um, just being fun while like, everyone's at home. Kind yeah, of. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what's something yeah. different? Yeah. And then, especially because we love to have fun and, like, all of our favourite bars and restaurants and stuff are closed at the moment. Or. You know, not yet, but probably will be. Yeah, like yeah. It, it, it you're could frowned happen. upon to be yeah. attending. Yeah, it's very frowned upon. Yeah, doing yeah, like yeah. a boiler room, but we weren't even relating it to Corona. And then I just went to Nick and I was like, "Oh my god, let's do a live stream for our office from our office for Corona." Yeah. yeah. So we've Great literally idea. actually pulled this little potty together within like what? Yeah. Forty eight like hours. hours. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just drop the video while we've been in the studio. So basically, yeah, if you're listening, we're going to be doing a live stream set. The boys yeah. are playing. You la, la. It's going to be so and fun. Yeah, Holy it's going to be shit. next Friday night from 9 till 11. We're going to be streaming it from Jagger HQ. Well, it might even be earlier than that if we've got, if we've got other people that are going to do yeah. stuff If you guys too. are honestly all going to, like, plan your own mini quarantine party at home, we will, we will be happy to keep that lineup going. 100%. Maybe uh, even like, add, I don't know, two Sheilas on it. Yeah, no, we might yeah, have, we're yeah, playing we Rosie on repeat for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> We've been teaching the girls how to how to mix for the last, what, week or so, so <laughs> see how we go. Well, Christian's <laughs> been teaching us and Tim how to mix for the last week. <laughs> We've been teaching them what hands to do, we're high in the air. No, Tim's been teaching us what dance moves like are perfect <laughs> when you DJ. What dance moves not to do. No. no. <laughs> but, but, no, it's a big thing as well, like, uh, as everyone, and I'm, I'm not saying it, that we're, you know, missing out more than anyone, but we've literally had... I'd say about like six, our, seven shows cancelled. Yeah. We literally and that's a big, that's oh. big money for well, you guys. Well, which best means we're out of work. I think we're we've literally lost about two, three months' work. Kind that's of. And, that, and that's like yeah. especially with an act starting. What we're a yeah. year old, finally hitting that sort of pearl patch. Lars come out. We've we're, had the we're best year on, this year. Yeah, yeah. And and it's finally coming up. Like, so when you guys, you know, when we sort of come up with the idea of the live stream as well, I think there's nothing better because we're in a bit of a. Not a hole, but you know, it sort you of. Just gets you just want to be able to, yeah, do you still something. Need to have fun. Yeah. Even though you're at home, like doing fuck all, we like, still need to have a. You know, you know, you yeah. still need to have yeah. fun. You know, you can still bring your mates over who don't have the virus. Your like. mates, your grandma, your granddad. <laughs> so, like, Tim, and we <laughs> encourage everyone at home. Temperature testing, exactly. Little breath out at the start. Yeah. yeah. So no, I'm, I'm we're keen as like we'll get the live stream going. We'll get everyone. We'll get the five people that we're allowed to have in in uh, that aren't in quarantine. Wait, like, in we're going to have to send like invites via pigeon carriers because it's so exclusive. Yeah, mine can't come. He's a bit. Even with us, we're like, who can even come to our office to do it? It can only be like literally like five to ten people. We'll have yeah. to invite the girls we work with just because they've already had their germs in the They're office. They're probably stuck in there anyway. Yeah. Can't leave. <laughs> yeah. No can't leave. Yeah, but no, we're, we're, we're literally keen, like very keen for this. Like yeah. it's going to be sick. And, oh, and it has so, like, yeah, it's sort of starting to be done, but it's like it, I don't think many people have been doing that live stream thing where you can sort of – Instead of just chucking the radio on or chucking a, a mix on, just get on the live stream and listen to some sick exactly. beats. Exactly. Talk then shit in the comments. Talk like, shit in the comments. Yeah. You know, I'll raise it. I'll, I'll stage dive to the three people if you can catch <laughs> I'll catch, catch you, mate. I'll no catch No one will be catching you. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, so if you guys have any questions in the lead up to that, you can well, shoot I us a say message, this. shoot the boys a message. Right now, we announced it, what, 40 minutes ago yeah. on Wild Ones, and it has – let me – Refresh. Three comments. Yeah. <laughs> 330 <laughs> comments. No oh, whoa. Well, that's well, 270 like a second ago. From a lady called Alana, my mum. <laughs> in a different alias in like a, in like a She's poncho. She's got like multiple accounts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a moustache, with like Alana's different aliases. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this like is going to be like, so Mexican, good. Like, oh, so you, uh, you Alana with a moustache. <laughs> And if you wow. didn't see it, guys, on our Instagram, now you know. So tune in on Friday next oh, yeah. weekend. Yeah, and we'll, we'll be sharing be this, details. It'll be, it'll we'll it'll share the link. Friday because this will be live on Monday. Yeah, true. So it'll be this Friday. Tune in because it's going to be so fun. Yeah. It's going to be epic. We're keen as. We've got, we've got the sound system ready. We've got the decks ready. So the girls good. don't know got how to vibes mix yet, ready. that's all right. <laughs> we'll teach them. He's like, yeah, we've been teaching the girls. Yeah, uh, yeah we haven't yet, but by yeah. the time this goes live, we would have. Yeah. We would have learned. 
how to play roses. Yeah, you'd be better than me, <laughs> not her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So your gigs have been cancelled, but you guys did tell us something exciting off air. What is in store for you for the next few months? Talk to me. Yeah, so yeah, so we got pretty lucky with this. So we're actually doing the uh, Triple J residency uh, next month, at the first week of April, first weekend. So we're going to be doing an hour set every Saturday night. Yeah. Wow. The Chumba Boys. Does that mean you have to fly to Sydney to record it? Well, it's actually crazy. No, like, no, Triple J, are, I think Triple J are actually in like, quarantine as well. I don't yeah, know. no, no. They're not at work either. Everyone's working from home. Yeah, home. so... Yeah, so for us, we're doing what, an hour every every Saturday. Every Saturday for the yeah. next four weeks, we're doing an hour uh, exclusive Chumba set. Having a nice like, little interview. I think like, it's like ten o'clock every Saturday night, and yeah. we do it. We do it. And we're, we're going to do an hour mix. We're going to do a few interviews. Like, it should be fun. So yeah, Just if you tune everyone. in to Triple J, yeah. if, like, you, even if you don't tune in Saturday, we'll we'll figure out a time and then we'll get back to you. But yeah, it's, no, it's a big thing for us. So that's Triple like, J. honestly we're, we're, we're so we're, lucky, boys. Like that's oh, no, honestly like the out. ideal situation. Really, like, we have to get Triple perfect. J. Triple so J have been massive. Got, fan. Oh, shout yeah. out Triple J. They've, They've been, been amazing. Yeah. Oh, sorry, another shout. Another shout out. You did, so no. you did a huge, massive start to the year. Now you get like a massive DJ set. On the radio for the next month, and while then your shows honestly, have been cancelled, it's perfect. All over town, you're fucking welcome. Yeah. Triple J, they have literally been the best. Yeah. like they have been the best to us this year. They yeah. they put out that they put Lala on high mix. rotation, yeah. and then they like they hit us up. It was literally a couple of weeks ago, so we just got so lucky on the timing. But so, so now, lucky, yeah. So now, like, yeah. yeah, residency on the whole month of April and, every week, and the tracks we've got as well. Uh, you know, we've got a heap of unreleased stuff. Oh, so much of, unreleased. We've got a yeah. heap of unreleased stuff. We've got some absolute bangers. So Saturday night, you know, even if at home, quit the party alive. Well, yeah, I guess we'll home. be starting yeah, off the lock in live stream and then you can Go follow suit much, and keep it. Pretty much starts the week Did after we that. beat Triple J to the mark? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Well, That's yeah, a little maybe. bit cheeky. Can't pay you though, sorry, boys. <laughs> 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 a little bit spicy. <laughs> oh, okay, well, let's ask you some actual questions. Beautiful. We've just been. Tangent. I have one question. So, when you guys are playing in your little booth, up on the stage. <laughs> yeah. Big booth on the stage. These days. <laughs> Can you see what's going on in the crowd? Yeah. yeah. I, literally, I literally don't I don't look anywhere else. What's Everything. like the wildest thing you've ever seen going on in the crowd? No, tell playing? the story that you just told us before about what the girl had on her phone. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's funny. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff it. Goes. Um, yeah, so, so we had – was when yeah. was it, like, the other it was, week? It was, on, it was on Saturday, and on I, Saturday. someone pulled up their phone in the crowd. When was it? A month ago? No, that was on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, no. That was about three days ago, mate. <laughs> yeah. Quarantine makes you go crazy. <laughs> 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 nah, so someone pulled their phone up in the crowd, a girl pulled their phone up, and, it like, it went black, like they'd, you know, press the home button or whatever. So I'm like, I bet they'll say threesome in oh. capital letters. Yeah. And then but, what, no, what happened? No, but not even threesome. Three with hey, the, three the actual three, three, and then S U M, wasn't it? No. no. Oh, 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 at least spell it yeah. properly. Like, fuck you. Denied time, for your spelling. It's an hour set. You got time to fucking spell it right. You got auto correct on your phone. You don't have to fuck it up. <laughs> Little three. If you, okay, if a girl wrote three S U M. I'd just say no purely out of the... Nah, take no, a drink cut it. We, we just... Yeah, we didn't try. <laughs> <laughs> it was plastic, a plastic cup. It didn't hurt her. It was full. Cool, she already had a wonky eye. They're no, joking. They're just joking. Just knocking chicks out with his stomach and then throwing cups at chicks. No, but no, but, 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 it's, but I, What do I say to you, Mike? It, said, it, was black, it was black. You couldn't see the screen. And, I, I, and he's like, I bet you any money. That says three. So I'm like, no way, bro. No way. Anyway, she finally, after 20 minutes of looking at the phone, <laughs> I don't know how long it takes to write F U four. And then S U M with her phone, but it took her like about twenty minutes. Got her phone back up. She's like, "Awesome!" Oh. <laughs> no way, like you were oh. right, like you were spot on. But still, me that fifty nah, bucks, mate. You, you see, like if anything, you see a lot of just cooked units. Like I, yeah. I think if if, if I, I love seeing cooked units, though. it's like my favourite pastime. Yeah, time, oh, actually, no, <laughs> like, no, spotting them out in the crowd. Like it, we yeah. had, we played a, we played our probably I would say our turning point of Chumba. We played at a uh, Canberra at Spilt Milk. Love you, Canberra. Oh, like, they're the best. Amazing. They're fucking the best. Oh. Is that the red time. light green light video on your Instagram? No, 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 that's, 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 that's Gold Coast. Coast. That's oh. Gold Coast. So, oh. That's our favourite video. We yeah. love yeah. that. Especially because you guys do it's that sick, head bop in but, but, the same way. So we, yeah. so we had, a, we we had a, an absolute legend who was, who, if I can paint a picture for, for people who aren't, who, you know, weren't there, obviously. Mullet. He was wearing, a, he, he wasn't wearing, he had <laughs> a mullet. He was wearing He had a white you know, a white like Vinny's t uh, button up shirt on with a tie button, and Speed Dealer Sunnies on, and we're playing Hypno Dance, like one flex. of our songs, Hypno Dance. And just before the drop, he decided 
I don't know, he must have been a few beers Jump on stage with the uh, he, he decided that he might just jump on stage and try and tackle us mid-drop. I saw this video. Yeah, if, if you guys haven't if you guys haven't seen it, jump on our Instagram and uh, it's about, yeah, five or six videos deep. But he uh, jumps onto our stage. We can reshare it when this goes live. He wanted to give the boys a hug. He wanted to give us a hug. He wanted to give us a hug. He literally jumped on stage. As the drop comes, he literally, as he ran off to the stage, security. This huge like, security block. Like tackled him to the floor, like ringed him to the floor. And, Knocked and out a tooth. Not, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> well, he didn't have many teeth. Let's be fair. <laughs> there were three left. But. You're really painting a picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, anyway, dragged, uh, grabbed him, dragged him off stage, and then it goes into us on the drop. Uh, like in hindsight, I wish we sort of stopped the music now and got him on stage and let him go there. But at the time, we were sort of freaking out, like, where did this guy come from? But, oh, and like, like, what do you like even such do? An this, guy jumped, on your space. Like, this guy jumped, like, there's like a 10 meter gap from where the security are, and he dodged about five security guards to jump no, on stage. Basketball player, but. Oh, true. <laughs> How do you know that? He, but anyway, I jumped believe on, he leaps. <laughs> jumped on stage to try to tackle us. And then I literally, I'm, I swear, I literally turn around and all I hear is, please, please just let me touch him. Please. <laughs> he wanted to touch him. He literally I'm just like, wanted a little like, cuddle. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I just want to touch him. I just Tim's want to touch him. Like, you don't want to touch me, man. I'm a few days deep. You don't want to touch me. He's like, I just want to touch him. Please. I'm Somebody like, already saw that man's ass. <laughs> anyway, you got me. Anyway, I got in contact with him about uh, four days later and I, I apologise that we didn't let him on stage. And oh, you found him. How'd you yeah, find well, him? He messaged me. He messaged me. I got kicked out, boys, but I love yous. He messaged us and goes, you're my whole day. I got kicked out just to see you boys, but it was so worth it. And I go, Hang on, so you guys have full on fans. Punters. What? You have nah, punters. Yeah, p- punters. They just yeah. love a boogie. Punters. I don't know. We, you lose the tea. So so we were with the boys. Mates. They're just our mates. Um, no, we were with the boys on Friday night and we ended up at this hotel and then, like, we were going to go into this party. It didn't really work out. And then the dude who would organise it was like, oh, boys. <laughs> um, fuck, you know, it's a shame we can't get you and all your friends in, whatever. And then he's like, but can I have a photo? And I just remember sitting there being like, yeah. What? You're for a photo? <laughs> yeah. What a legend. What a legend. Yeah, it's it. so weird love to get it. a photo. If anyone asks for a photo, like, and I know it even sounds silly, like, yeah, oh, you so just do weird. it. But I just don't, like, do you just, when like you get why? a photo of someone, do you just smile? Like, every time I, I get a photo, what photo? What I just pose? kiss them on the cheek so you can't see my face because usually that's I'm smart. having a really good time. Well, I yeah, stick out my tongue in every photo. I stick out my tongue. What do I Every time I do, I just do the cookedest face I possibly can. Because if you cross your eyes, I stick out my tongue. I'm like, like, it's so bad. So you just do, like, silly bugs. And then I see yeah. him the next day, I get tagged and I'm like, fuck, why do I still do that pose every time, eh? Yeah, yeah. But no, no, yeah, it's this like guy was a legend, blanket. so... <laughs> so we got around him, sent him, sent, him, sent him that we'd take him, like, probably cancel now, but we said we'd bring him to the next Canberra show. Um, and he's like, oh, Ken, he's like, bring as many mates as you want. Like, we'll bring you the next show. And he was, he was stoked. Oh, that's so. So Do you nice. have any shows then, still planned? No, and then that then that Canberra show that we invited him to yeah, just canceled, got cancelled, yeah. like, oh. yesterday. Well, what, has every show been cancelled? Every single everything. one of our shows. Well, everything for wow. the foreseeable. We've got, like... And for Lude, too? Yeah, no, yeah. everything. No, because they cancelled the they cancelled the venue capacity down from five hundred to a hundred. So now wow. it's just like what like what venue holds under. So 100? what's the Except next? Except Static like- Bar in New Zealand. Shout out. No, we've got we've got a we've got a show coming up that's sort of not a favour, but like a, a bit of a, a a friends of ours who are. You know, like you know, like brown cardigan sort of. You know, yeah. yeah so they're like running page. Running meme page. Yeah, the like, young calves, funny. legends, and yeah. and they are. Uh, they. Oh my up. god! They. Messaged us about you guys coming on today. Oh, did they? Yeah. yeah. I gave a shout out. I'd be happy with that. Sarah. We're like, who is <laughs> Brown Cubs? They've got 15 no, followers. Young, 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 oh, young, young Cubs. Cubs. Sorry. They've got 15 <laughs> followers, so please make it about 17, please. <laughs> Me, Tim, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> now, nah, so they hit us up to do a show and uh, they just brought, so random, but they just brought a limo. Like this guy, this, this guy saves like so much money. Limo, like a an actual limo. limo. He goes, boys, you know what? I can't pay as much, but you know what I can do? Pick up, up, up in me limo <laughs> from the airport. I can. I've got a gimp mask. If you want to wear a gimp mask, I'm like, I don't want to wear a gimp mask. Like, All right, we'll scratch that. Don't worry about the gimp mask. Goes, There's already footage of you with that gimp mask. <laughs> <laughs> I said not to share that. <laughs> and anyway, he's like, we'll come back, we'll do a show. And, and that's organised. And because that's outdoors, apparently there might be a little bit of a leeway. But let's just wait and see. So maybe that. But, yeah, no, nothing. Other than, other than, than the only gig you've got is your lock-in at our It's a fucking live But stream. that will be the gig of the gig. So, that's yeah. a gig oh, of the perfect. year. Perfect. Keen as. Yeah. Actually, absolutely. I actually keen. don't like when we do, when I ever film anything, if I'm around you guys, because I can hear my laugh. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> I didn't like, want to say one that. Night, <laughs> <laughs> one night Christian did a fake DJ set for us on cardboard boxes. That's when we and first met him. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, not nah, the like first proper, time. Oh, like, hang on, sorry, hang on, yeah, hang on. No, please, like. please explain the cardboard boxes. So we were having a fun night at Ollie's house and you guys all know Ollie from his podcast. Um, Frosty. And Fro. Ollie, oh, Fro. Um, and Legend, we, love you, Ollie. Yeah, love Shout you, Queen. Ollie. 
How's all um, your shout outs, boys? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shout outs. <laughs> like 19. Shout out to this person. Shout out to this person. Sorry, guys. Um, I love it. No, and we. What? We. Ended up having a wild night and Christian was there and he did a DJ set. No, because we were asking you questions. We're like, so what do you do, what do you when do? you go what on do you stage? Move your hands? <laughs> we're like, do you dance? Like, are I'm you like, actually well, girls, vibing? are you ready? And right, then ladies, he goes, oh, in. Let like, me class, show is you in, class is in session. Let's go. Literally, and he literally just like did. put on a performance. And now when we watch his videos on Instagram, we're like, <laughs> oh, my God, he's doing the little hand. He's like, saying, like, or you cheeky wait, little bastard. Wait, did he get on like, the top of the balcony and like look down and you guys with a cardboard box and he's like, no, no, Glastonbury, he, can you hear can me? Can you hear me? <laughs> no, it was pretty much like that. And we were just in, I was in hysterics and my laugh in the back of the video. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then Jerome's there like screaming out like, point to me, Luke. Point to me, Kai. In a strong oh, crowd of <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop making me laugh. Stop laughing. Oh, I can't yeah, tell. that was funny. I wish I was there for that. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, were, you went home yeah, early. You bailed your dog. Yeah, pretty I had dog, to, man. Yeah, I had to yeah, look after. He's a businessman. He's a yeah, businessman. Look, look after my partner who uh, had a few too many uh, rosé. So. Oh, <laughs> oh you're all a been nice there, boyfriend, darling. Tim. I'm, She's a great, I'm a great guy. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. She's I the biggest legend. My boyfriend She'll be was listening. like, I've had hey, too queen. much to drink. Yeah, I'd be like, go home. I'm staying out. <laughs> yeah. So you're a good boyfriend. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, too scared to do that. But anyway, let's get back into the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> too scared to do that. <laughs> Got strong knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're running out of time, boys, because we've just been bantering so hard. But we will get, we're going to answer a few Queenie <laughs> questions. So we put a little question box up. Um, someone wants to know, Tim, where the nickname Bubsy came from? Where the nickname Bubsy came from? <laughs> yeah. um, oh, I think that's because I have quite a fair complexion and I'm quite tall. I'm about 6'3". <laughs> uh, and I've got great hips. So I think that's where Bubsy come from. Great no, it's a nickname, a nickname, I, uh, yeah, nickname, a nickname that I've perceived. It's, a, it's a quite an embarrassing nickname, but Bubsy. Yeah, Bubsy's just a thing. Nah, Bubsy. No, Bubsy. Move, on, move on from Bubsy. Let Tim live. Let's get another yeah. question. Okay. Um, someone just asked us, tell us what you were like when you were nine years old. Uh, do you want me to I think these are all of your mates obviously just it, baiting you. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so we I, we grew up um, just to – so my – I, I didn't – yeah, Tazzy. So I, I didn't have much to do with my, my dad – so his uncle growing up. So I had a stepdad and my st- uh, my stepdad, Danny, love you, legend. Sorry for the shout out again. But he <laughs> uh, shout out. he's just here for Claire. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> shout out, Danny. Legend. But no, he owned he owned pubs. Like he was a publican. So he had like three or four different pubs. And he had Sorry, the, did you say a publican? Pub, I've never heard called. that in my life. No, it is. Yeah, it is. Me, it is. It's a good. thing. It's no, a no, thing. No, no. I believe you. Your eyes are very serious. So he's he literally owned like three or four pubs. So he's a publican and he was known for the best chicken palmies in the West. Ooh. Wait, where's Tazzy? Sorry, the what? What a claim to fame. Yeah, yeah. So I would Wait go there minute, at a n- nine years old. Obviously, as you do as a little kid and you'd, you know, you go there and get your pub loaf, which is like, you know, a big loaf of <laughs> garlic bread and uh, <laughs> right. about, that, about eight, that, raspberry, about eight, eight uh, fire engines, I'd call them, raspberry lemonades, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> a big chicken palm. I mean, if it wasn't over the plate, I wouldn't be happy. It so just crusts <gasps> of pizza. It, yeah, so it's only the crust. Why crust? Because <laughs> I make your hair curly. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so growing up as a kid, I was quite a, I was quite a uh, heavy, heavy set young young fella and uh and i was quite tall as well wasn't i mate so so you are you really short tim I'm not. I'm actually not no, sure. You're five, got, you're five foot six on a good day. No, no I'm not. I'm actually. <laughs> I'm actually. I'm actually one seventy eight centimeters for everyone out there. Not that short. I've just got sh- a short. I've got short legs. Just got short hair. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. I've just got short legs and a big. Are you torso. both short? I feel like you're both pretty short. I think Excuse you're, me, I'm t- over six I think you're just very tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so growing up, my mum, you know, to, to put me on the diet, and like, fair enough. She put you uh, on a diet. Put me on a, not, not really put me on a diet, but would would so I'd ride to school every day, and it was all downhill, but. On the way back, you leave your bike. At it home. was all uphill, so That's every day lift. I'd have to walk my bike home, and it was about, let's say, it was two k, but it felt like twelve k, and I'd have to walk home every day, push my bike up the hill, to, you know, to lose weight. But I got really friendly with Steve from Steve's Kebabs and Potato Cake Shop. Yeah. And uh, back in the day when potato, I don't know Not if you know up. potato scallops maybe in Queensland, potato cakes. Potato cakes potato were cakes. like 10 cents when we were growing up. So they were like, they were free pretty much. And obviously, you know, I got the, <laughs> you got the 10% paid to eat discount them. When, I were, when I went there. So what well, was like, what's 10% off? <laughs> no, but it, <laughs> in, no, but in ta- <laughs> what's no. nine cents. Yeah, no, yeah. So, so yeah, in Tassie, so all you do pretty much is eat. So I would I would literally walk home from to school to mum's every day. And on the way there, I would stop into 
Steve's kebabs and potato cake house and I would get I would get I would get five potato cakes every single day. That's or a maybe ten. All right. lot of carbs <laughs> no, to get up the hill. Oh, yeah. I had to get up the hill, you know what I mean? What? I needed the energy. I mean, no, you because I, I come and like met him at his bus stop once after school when we were, when we were about nine years old. So you weren't riding. You were catching the bus. <laughs> no, that's where we met. No, and yeah, this is back this is <laughs> that's where we nah, met. And this is when we used to call Timmy Timmy the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard this <laughs> for a good reason. No, so like uh, we, I was coming to stay over at his house one weekend. Like I don't know it was a Friday afternoon. You know, he stoked to go home, play a bit of like Crash See Bandicoot best on mate, the, Tim the Giant. <laughs> a bit of Crash Bandicoot on the PS. No, nah, so I come to meet him at the bus stop. And I'm just like, fucking hell, you've grown, mate. Like, I hadn't seen him for about five months. And how tall? You were about five Six inches one. taller than me. And you're like, <laughs> and I'm like, how much do you weigh, mate? You're like 85, eh? You weigh, you weigh about, tw- you weigh about have, 15 mum, kilos. Mum would now. only weigh me every bloody three days. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then we're like, all right, let's go well, home, how mate. How fat Timmy, were you? I was 80 kilos he, when I was no, 12. He was Timmy the Giant. I'm 78 now and I'm he was, like, no, 27. I'm, no, literally, he was Timmy the Giant. So no, I but mean, I was tall. I was this height as well. Like, no, no, no. I was, I was a man child. You know, when everyone at school, you're like, I was good at sport. I was just a man. Like, like I was a guy that was like, get out of my way, mother. Like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but the only obvious joke is Tasmania, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Tassie. Th- no, One of my heads was 10 kilos. The other was like 30. <laughs> no, because like we were, no, because you used to be, he, Timmy used to like sit on an average of seven inches tall than me, our whole childhood, eh? Yeah. Well, we're not married. I don't know what inches are, but yeah, <laughs> well, I was pretty big. So <laughs> I'd come, so anyway, the sl- story, one of the stories, I'd come home every day and my mum would, my mum would say to me, Timmy, you're swe- like, you're sweaty. Fair enough. Like you, you, you walked home, you don't, <laughs> you're excited. Your she face. goes, she goes, she goes, have you, did you go to Steve's kebabs and potato cakes? I go, no, no mummy. Mom. I go, no mummy. And I always used to say to her, I'm not really just always used to say, I promise to Jesus. No. Like, she's like, did you go to Steve's kebabs house? I'm like, no mummy. I promise to Jesus. She goes, Timmy, tell him. And I was about 21 at this. No, I'm joking. I was, I was about nine at this time. And she's like, did you go to Steve's kebabs? Did you go? I'm like, no mummy. I promise. She goes, well, what's that all over your face? And I, I go in the mirror and have, oh, a look, and have tomato, tomato sauce all around my lips. The big Tommy lips. Like all around my lips. And I just say, no, I was in a fight. I was in a school fight. I've got blood, a blood lips. I've got blood lips. She's like, let me smell it. Potato oh. cakes. I know you're having your potato cakes, little Timmy. <laughs> You've done it again. So you were a fat kid. He, I was a fat kid, yeah. No, he, I still no, am a fat he kid. Dead set, dead set, like, because you went to Gold Coast. You moved no, to Gold Coast. No, but I was Coast. big. Is it like I, no, I was chubby? No, yeah. no, you were like no, a big no, rig, like yeah, tall. I was, no, 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 I was, no, I was yeah. always good at sport. I was always like, I was always good at sport. Like I always like, you know, like was sweet, but I was just big. I was no, just but big. big dog. You, like I, I come up to the Gold Coast and Europe I, and just shrunk. I reckon, Timmy. I reckon you hit the, <laughs> like literally you hit puberty when you were six years old, eh? True. Like you were like a. Giant. I was born with pubes. <laughs> <laughs> you already had that. <laughs> like a fro, like like a massive. <laughs> Don't you guys have this? Oh. <laughs> A landing strip. I was born with a landing strip. <laughs> but anyway, you used to going. sell it to the lads at school. Right? <laughs> Next question. Next question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Moving on. Oh. Um, another question is, um, which DJ that you've met brings the biggest vibes on a, they use the word bender, but, you know, party night, whatever. Um, oh, fuck. Flume, Don, have you met I'll Flume? Be, I'll Don be Dollar. honest. No, I, I, I'll be honest. Billy Kenny. He's like, True. he's probably, he's probably the loosest cunt I've ever met. He, mate, he gives us anxiety. To like he freaks me out how hard he goes because he like, talks because he, he beats us. Like yeah. Yeah. he talks yeah. more than you. Yeah. Is that possible? He, he, when you sit back and go, like, I don't know, like if, if you're a person who talks too much and like has ADD or whatever and ADHD. talks too much and doesn't stop, and then then when, when there's someone else who does the same, you're like, oh, I'm threatened. It by freaks them. me out. <laughs> no, no, like, oh, another one, another Wait, one. Me like, and you look at each other, I start sweating. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I can't deal with it. Like, yeah. no, I reckon it's good. Like I, being someone that talks a lot all the time. I like being around you guys because you're like, wow, you make me look chill as fuck. To be honest, there's no, <laughs> there's never a silence. There's never an awkward silence. No, because yeah. I freak out if there is. I'm like, no, but, but I genuinely like, <laughs> say like, anything, to, anything. Yeah, it's kind of word. Like, I generally am not even being like. This is completely serious. I if if I have like. Any anxiety about any? I generally have a phobia of awkward silences. Like if I meet someone for the first time, and I like I, when I went on a date with Ali for the first time, we sat there, and I, she didn't have a word for the first time because I was just, like, and then that was you too, and then I become the potato cake boy, and then I grew up, and she's just like, oh my god, this guy's a freak! Like shut up, because I just get 
get nervous and I just talk so much. <laughs> the amount of the amount of Ubers that we've got, up, like from our hotel to the airport, and I'm just like, you're in the front, can't? you're in the front every I time. Like you're in the front. I love it. And Boy, Tim, I always and talk to just, Uber, Uber drivers too. I'm like, so yeah. how are you? Like, Where were you born? Just big shift. <laughs> just a bit of silence. Hey, Long I'm not sleeping in the back. Timmy's just like, no, 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 no. I'm like, fuck it. And then he'll get out of the Uber at the end. He's like, fuck man, that guy didn't stop talking. I just have to keep talking. I'm like, bro, you asking. Like he's asking him like full life questions. The guy's like, yeah, 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 brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, it was all you. No, but it's not because I like even cared it's like about like what silence. the Uber driver's saying. I just, I literally have a oh, fear that's of awkward like, silences. That's like Nikki yeah. goes the other day. Well, I can't remember what happened, but I I went somewhere for like five minutes and I got out. It's like, fuck that woman dumped by her husband. Three single kids, like <laughs> no, nothing. And Nikki's like, and I'm, I'm like, love, so you're probing again. I love how you asked, you knew her for 30 seconds and you asked, oh, so you're single? You got kids on your own. Oh, I hate that for you. How's your like, bloody sex life? <laughs> what star <laughs> sign are you? When were you born? Yeah. Yeah, I love probing. Nah, yeah, you oh, don't need to probe with me. I'm fucking. <laughs> 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 I just come yeah. straight out. I don't even speak blood. English and I'm, I'm their best mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's an question, All right, we'll do one last question. Um, is it hard not to turn up every time you play somewhere? No, <laughs> it's very easy. Uh, it, <laughs> really? To be to be fair, I, w- I will give Christian big credit. Christian been doing it a lot longer, so mm. for, for me, it's still not fresh, but just You're grateful. Still do, like you mean like get, do you mean get loose? You mean like at yeah, show? like if you go to a yeah. show, do you want to get loose like every time, or does it feel like work to you? Where on, you're like, no, no, I'm ready for bed now. Honestly, like no, to be yeah, that's what that's what Timmy's saying. Like to be fair, like when I do my lewd shows, I'm most of the time because I'm DJing, like I'm yeah. touring by myself. So yeah. those nights, because a lot you go to a lot of places and you don't know that you're not mates of the promoter or whatever. So it's the first time meeting him. I'll play a show, boots, boop, back in bed, bang, let's go. But we chum, but it's a bit. Yeah, because we're, like, we're best friends. Well, you've got your well best friend there. That's what I yeah, mean. That's, a so pro- that's the best thing and the problem at the same time. But with the What's On It tour, like, obviously, we got to Sydney and, like, best show ever. We had, we had the absolute ball, but it was. Brisbane like, was the best show. Like, we just part, like, <laughs> no, just, no, we no, look at each other. We look at each other and wink. We're like, oh, all right. No, no, I actually, was, I'd say to him, I'm like, Christian, smile, come on. But not even because he wasn't having a good time, it's just, we're just that. Lethargic and we're wreck. Like we, like we saw you girls and we're five hours later in Sydney doing sound check. Yeah, oh, I was crazy. gonna fly down. You know if I, mean? I didn't have something out. on, yeah, I was like, I'm that gonna come fun. down and party with the boys. We're potentially yeah. your biggest fans. Yeah. At the moment. We're, we were we're hype girls. It, so. We're your yeah. punters. Hundred percent. No, the boys Joy let mums. us go side stage on the weekend, and I saw videos of myself after, and I was like. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> she she was a subtle. Some of those dance moves are illegal. Yeah, though, it's all about a good tool. We're going to die. Yeah, that's good. That's a good face right now, you're like, oh no. Oh my god, no, I saw videos. After Please, those like, videos never surface. Oh my god. At one point, Lucy like grabbed me like to dance and like from behind and like did just, just a normal dance. Just like, lifted you up. Like, like, just dance and I'm like, I don't know what to, how to dance this sort of dance, but I'm just gonna vibe it. And the hands were going everywhere. I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, sweet. Like, you're right. And I looked around. I'm like, yeah, she's blind. And then I looked around. I'm like, fuck it. Oh, you're right, Lucy. No, I love that. I love that you still stayed and had a boogie. Yeah, you oh, do. 100%. Like, and Stay and dance with me forever, Tim. Don't oh, for like, leave me hanging. Always. For always. Even though I might That's be 10 foot taller than That's you. That's why you're there. You're not even that sure. <laughs> <Only three>. Listen, <laughs> you peaked early. You peaked just, when you were 12. Just quickly for the podcast, I'm actually 178 centimetres. Not that short. <laughs> not last time <laughs> I checked, mate. <laughs> right, I've got my heels on. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm 176 oh, wow. and but I was it, wearing heels on the weekend. I'll show We'll take shoes off and I'll bet you I'm Yeah, true. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, Man. people can't see our height, guys. We're really getting caught up in the I wrong thing, right? Video. Like up one ten centimeters. <laughs> <isn't laughs> but, but there's no video. But <laughs> I tell you what, with these boys, I feel like you need to see you fuckers on video, which is why you need to stream in. They're the biggest vibes next ever. Friday night because it's going to be strict vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I think like Lucy and I have just met like our. Alter egos in boys. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh but my god, <laughs> but way better looking. That's a big call for us. <laughs> yeah. No, but oh, like, no, no. In the no, way that like you <laughs> guys are so close and like oh, fun. Oh, true, true, true. You're close and fun, and we're close. Get and bread, sort of thing. Yeah, we're not in bread. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the main bread, difference. But we're close and fun. Yeah, yeah. sweet. Not oh, as we've fun. Met but our yeah, match. <laughs> <laughs> no, not as fun. But I reckon we actually probably party more than you boys. Uh, but put it this way, I will 100% no, I have no shame in saying we are pussies on the bend. All right, so boys, it's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> pleasure and a treasure. We Has cannot wait for Friday night. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, Fuck get around it, get around it. Even if you're at home, even if you're sitting there doing nothing. Well, hopefully everyone's going to have a quarantine party. Have a little no, dance. sorry, even if, no, you are going to be at home, so get around it because we're going to play some rinses. <laughs> the girls are going to have a mix. 
I might even first have a DJ set yeah, on the wild ones. First, Timmy will just, just be hype boy. Yeah, we'll eating a couple of potato scallops. Timmy's, <laughs> Timmy's stage job. I might even get the old tomato sauce ring around the lips just, to, <laughs> just for old time's sake. It's going to be so much fun. So, guys, if you can tune in on Friday, we're going to be having that. We'll have more details on our Instagram. So, if you want to check it out, check it out. And yep. thanks, boys, for coming in. Yes. Love you. Thank you for having us. Yes, Queen. Yes, yes Queen. queen. Yes. This podcast is part of the Spin Studio Network. Stay up to date with us. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast, leave us a review, and follow us on Instagram at we the underscore wild ones. Cheers, babes. <laughs>